Hello, how are we? Scratching my nose. Oh, how are we all? It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in the Midlands. I won't give my exact location. But don't you know where I am? Still in all my veggies and that. <clears throat> and uh, this is the first video I've done for about two years. And I'll give you a little uh, explanation on why to the 35 subscribers that I do have. Um, I've got quite a young family, so when I do come up here, I just want to get stuff done because I've only got a short amount of time, maybe like three or four hours. And in that time, I just want to get stuff done because I've only, I'm only using half my plot at the moment. The other half is just sort of not even covered over. It's just going to get wild soon, so I'll probably need to stream it all. But I have been planting. I have been potting. I've got a little polytunnel thing there, which is, that's its second year of um, use, which I think is all it's going to get because it's uh, kind of fallen to bits. Uh, but it has done its job. It's kept everything kind of warm and uh, everything's popping up nicely um i'll show you what i've done thus far so what i've done i've got like a plot in a plot right um i've had last year had a ton of trouble with rabbits uh they're all my beans and peas pretty much so this year i've gone for the guantanamo bay style um enclosure um and it's I'm, I didn't come up yesterday and it seemed to have worked. No rabbits have got in. I've put some netting over so no pigeons can eat what I've put in there. Um, what I've got in there are French uh, beans, dwarf beans, bush beans, whatever you want to call them. And I've just put some onions out as well. I've got another, I'm probably going to fill this with both onions and um, what else have I got to put in here? Beetroot is going to go in here as well um, and this at the moment this is where my strawberries are going to go currently a lot of mare's tail this is just, just from I don't know, 20 minutes or so of digging up and for those of you that have mare's tail know that it's a prehistoric bitch it borrows down, it, 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 its roots go metres and metres down. And if you try and touch it, it just snaps. And then you're left with the root still in the soil anyway. And it's going to pop up at some point. So all you can do, really, if you've got a lot of it like I have, um, it's kind of, it doesn't um, respond to any kind of weed killer, which I wouldn't put on it anyway because it's going in the soil and I'm going to eat stuff that's coming out of the soil. Uh, I, I have watched like a ton of videos of people talking about it. Um, one guy thought it was a great idea to put WD-40 on it. Um, which killed it off for a year, then it came back the following year. So, but then you've got WD-40 in your soil with your spuds and that. So, not really one I want to try. But there we go, mare's tail. I've got a lot of it, but you can see a little bit right here. There it is, mare's tail. It's blurry. That's what mare's tail is. So as, you, as long as you pull it up when you see it, and then you put the root, uh, whatever you've pulled up into your fire pit or what you don't want to do is compost it because it will just survive. Every strand of that plant will root. So even if you leave a minute little bit in the soil, it'll root from that. Um, like I say, it's some kind of demon. So like I say, because it does root meters down, <clears throat> it shouldn't take any nutrients from your vegetables or whatever you've got growing. Um, what it will do though is <clears throat> make a carpet of itself like, like it, when it comes up and you don't pick it it will just keep going and it will spread out uh, a problem I had last year it got on top of me on one bed uh, where I had a lot of beetroot in <clears throat> and because it gave a cover over the, the, the beetroot 
um, mice were able to sneak under the carpet and just take out a few of my beetroot. You know, you've got to share some with the wildlife, I guess, but you don't want to share it all, right? Because that's not fair, is it? But, yeah, so I'm going to carry on digging this strawberry bed because what I'm going to do with it is put some black sheeting down, cut holes in the black sheeting and plant the strawberries in that. But what I'm waiting for is a little kitchen blowtorch thing that I got off uh, Amazon um, because of obviously the situation that we're all in, the COVID situation, uh, the post is, you know, taking it a little while, which is, you know, what you're going to do. But when it does arrive, I plan to melt sort of round circles into the, the this sort of black plasticky stuff. Because then, I mean, it won't stop the mare's tail coming through. It might even punch, I've seen it through uh, punch through tarmac and stuff like that. Um, so it'll probably come through, but it's just, just keeping on top of it. And um, I think it'll be, be a little bit easier for me to keep on top of that. Uh, that way so we shall see won't we um i've heard different things about doing that as well <clears throat> growing the uh growing on plastic uh i've heard that it's um can attract slugs but i've heard people say it's brilliant i've heard people say it's the worst idea ever i don't know i'm gonna have a go and then i'm gonna show you how it worked for me and then you know you can do what you want in it it's free country probably where you live I don't know where you live but right I'm gonna tackle this mare's tail and I'll uh, get back to you in a bit sometimes it's important to have a little sit down at the plot and take in some of the hard work that you've been doing because it is hard work but ultimately it's the I don't know <laughs> I was trying to be profound there messed it up oh well but yeah you know smell the roses so to speak I haven't got any roses but if I did I'd stop and I'd have a little sniff. Alright. And that's the bed all nicely dug over. Started on this one. A lot of mares tail in this one too, so it's taken a while. I'm just trying to take out as much as I can when I see it. Uh, just takes a little bit longer. <clears throat> another day. Another day at the plot. Thought a normal day. Came up. Then I noticed that see that someone's broke my lock off and a rummage around my shed luckily it's just absolutely full of crap um i have zero trust um so i tend to take everything home with me um polytunnel was wide open but i have left i did because i had some trouble um when i first put the polytunnel up um i had this out And what I'd done, I'd left a rake like this, what I'd used just to make the bed flat. Um, and a little dibber, and I came up the next day, and my polytunnel was open, and the, the, a few tools that I'd left in here that weren't worth any money really, had gone. So after that, I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna take everything home. So every time I come up here, my car's all loaded up with shovels and rakes and things like that. And I don't know, I, yeah, uh, I reported it to the to the uh, people on the um, Facebook group, the community group, and they said, yeah, they've had a lot of break-ins apparently. Um, so it might have just been a a one and done. A few of them have come up and. Uh, just helped themselves, I suppose. But what are you gonna do? I can't lay traps or anything, can I? Want to, really want to, because it's really disheartening. 
you come up here, you put all this effort in, and some prick just thinks you could just take what you've done and what you've bought to make it a success. Um, but we go again. I need a new padlock. Or I might just leave it open, because <laughs> it's probably cheaper in the long run. Anyway, today is going to be about strawberries. So I'll get back to you in a minute. Right, I've put the uh, sheet down, which I'll show you somehow. Sheet, that's down. And now what I'm going to do is cut sort of circular holes along the thing. Well, I'm not going to cut them, I'm going to melt them. Today we use fire on the allotment. But I heard it, I don't know what that is on my eye. Muck. Bit of book. Um, just spoke to another plot holder, and um, luckily he hadn't been broken into. Apparently, it happened on Sunday night. Today is Wednesday, so my poly tunnel's been open the whole time since then, which is more annoying than breaking the lock off. But you know, some people are just scum, aren't they? Um, but I don't really know where they're going to sell that sort of stuff because I know that they nick it and sell it at car boot sales mostly, right? But I don't think there's any car boot sales happening this, this year, but we'll see, won't we? Um, so anyway, this is down. And like I say, today we're using fire. And with this beard, this could go spectacularly wrong. All right, keep watching. Uh, what I've got is an empty baked bean tin. That. This little beauty, not a lot of money off, uh, off the internet. Got some gloves, because it's going to be hot, and I've got some mole grips so I can hold the can and sing the old ones. Ah, my face! Alright, here we go. Hold on. first lot of uh, strawberries in those holes and I can see what sort of distance I've got there so I don't should have measured it out really but it's too excited to use fire Probably should have counted all the holes, but I was enjoying it too much. Cocked up a couple, as you would expect. This is the hapless gardener, after all. Um, but yeah, quite enjoyed that. Uh, sorry this video is flipping between landscape and portrait. Um, again, maybe I'm the hapless cameraman too. But I'm on my phone, because I can't be bothered to bring up like my big camera and microphones and all that sort of stuff, I got the time. Anywho. So, we've got uh, got a little strawberry bed going on. Just gonna finish it off. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, we've had a really nice uh, April. Um, good for getting the seeds going, I've found. Uh, I've had this polytunnel, this is my second year of having this polytunnel and as you can see you know you kind of get what you pay for this cost me 80 quid um, and I, I thought if I could get two seasons out of it then you know it's kind of worth it I didn't want to having seen what I've seen today invest X amount of hundreds of pounds in a proper efficient polytunnel 
to have someone just come up and either break into it, nick, uh, slash it up, or you know what I mean. So, so for eight, for forty quid a year, which is what it cost me, it's it's done its job. It's got all these going, it's got everything uh, ticking along nicely, and on the plus side, I don't have to water it now if it's been raining because. It's got its uh, own irrigation system. That's probably what they'll tell me this is. But I took it down in the um, autumn, uh, stored it away nice and dry, cleaned it off, and didn't make any difference really. I could have just left it on it. Um, but having said that, maybe it would have uh, degraded a lot quicker. But there we go. Like I say, we've had a great um, April, and I've got a lot done. Hope you have as well and uh yeah if you see anyone with a, a two pound trowel they've nicked it from my polytunnel but other than that can't complain because my tomatoes are coming up they're only i haven't grown any proper big um normal sort of money maker tomatoes these are all um like hanging basket ones, sort of the cherry tomatoes, which I like and the kids like and everyone I know likes them. So, and I just, I don't know, it's too much trouble, I think, tomatoes. Especially if I had them in my back garden, I could see them every day, it'd be a bit, a bit better, but, you know, I can't, so I, I haven't got that. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Uh, May is next. I'll just show you what I've done. I'll finish off as you can see the weather's changed a lot. But you know, you gotta you gotta keep on keeping on, ain't you? Because if you don't, then you get nothing done. It's England, mate. Get used to the weather. But so the I'll, I'll put some more beans in. Um more bush beans. I'm gonna have loads of them, I think, I hope. I'm gonna put some more to the uh, uh, beetroot in this bed that's going to finish off this bed only sort of because i'm going to take this netting off in a few weeks once everything's kind of established um this is really good netting by the way i fully recommend this over the sort of cheap sort of pea netting that I, I try to use that but as soon as you touch it, it kind of snaps um so i invested well, it was under 30 quid and this stuff um i can use and reuse again and again um so I fully recommend that. It's like scaffold netting, I think it's called. But I don't know, but it's it's worth worth the yeah the the investment. Like I say, you'll you'll get a few runs out of it. Uh, so yeah, in here that's going to be uh, beetroot, and um, between the gaps there, I'm going to put some more onions in, um, and then I'm going to dig this one over soon enough, and um, that's going to. Every, everything else I've got, I've got a lot of uh, runner be um, I've got runner beans, and I've got um, what else have I got? What else have I got? I've got corn, sweet corn. A lot of sweet corn come up, um, which is <clears throat> new to me. Um, I, I grew, I, I tried to grow some last year. Uh, a few came up, and then the mice set because I didn't really cage it off. And uh, this year I've caged it off. So this is my gate at the moment. I'm just gonna shut my gate. Oh my God, it's so heavy. But this is rabbit proof gate with anti-locking me mechanism installed. All right. So I am gonna build a gate, but I just haven't got around to it yet. because I just need to get everything in. These are my leftover beans I'm gonna uh, <clears throat> there's a, a chair at the bottom by the gate it's called a share chair and it's for anybody who's got surplus stuff so i'm going to put that there and hopefully somebody will have them um so yeah again that's april folks i'll see you at the end of may and we'll have a look on uh, what's going on all right take care of yourselves stay safe and uh I'll see you on the next one. Ta-da.